So 4th of July is like three weeks away. So we gotta get prepared. I know I told you we're done with pastas for a little, but I figured there was one that we needed to cover that is perfectly suitable for 4th of July, and that's pesto. It's one of the simple, fresh, delicious pastas. Basically like a puree of basil with some pine nuts, some cheese, some olive oil, and a little bit of garlic. And you've got yourself a great, simple, fresh pasta for a hot summer day. All right, so we have all of our main ingredients here. We have some nice fusilli. So that's gonna kind of house all of that pesto really nicely once it's cooked. We've got some good olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, the real good stuff. Real Parmigiano Reggiano that we're going to grate fresh. We have some pine nuts, a couple cloves of garlic, and a whole bunch of fresh basil. I'm just gonna toast up these pine nuts real quick, kind of release those oils. And then we're basically just gonna throw it all into a blender, get the pesto done, and then cook up some pasta, mix it all together, and you're done. It's really one of the simplest pastas you can make. You can eat it hot, you can eat it cold. It's perfect. So let's just get right into it. The first thing I wanna do is just toast up the pine nuts real quick. Just in a dry pan, I'm gonna get them over like medium heat and toast them really gently just until they start to lightly brown and you can smell a little nuttiness kind of wafting in the air. Now we're basically just going to start to make the sauce. I've just got some basil here and I'm just going to pick the leaves and start getting these basil leaves in the blender. So I'm gonna add three or four ice cubes. That's going to help prevent it from oxidizing and getting brown and keep that really bright green color. I'm gonna take a clove of garlic and we're just gonna grate that in. Grated Parmesan. Some olive oil. And then a touch of water. A pinch of salt and then just blend it. Gonna add the pine nuts. It's a tad bitter, so to correct that, you could just add some sugar or a little agave, like I'm about to. All right, so all that's left to do is cook the pasta. I'm just gonna cook it in some salty water. I'm gonna throw it in here, a little bit of pasta water, let that sauce kind of coat, and get all up in all of the little crevices of the fusilli. And then you have basic pesto. And from there, we're just gonna kind of add a few things extra. I just have some blanched asparagus and green beans, because it's spring, and that's just gonna add some nice crunch to it. Got a little bit of toasted breadcrumbs that I'm just gonna sprinkle in at the end for a little bit more texture. And then these just really beautiful cherry tomatoes that aren't necessary, but they're gonna add a little color and some acidity to the dish that's gonna be nice. All of these things are sort of influenced by a pesto recipe I saw by Massimo Bituro, who is voted the greatest chef in the world, has the best restaurant in the world, he's an Italian, he knows what he's talking about, so if anyone doesn't think this is traditional, you know, Take it up with the best chef in the world. So let's get head on over to the stove and finish this guy off. My pasta is cooked. I'm just gonna add it to the pesto. blanched green beans and asparagus. The remaining toasted pine nuts, I'm just gonna throw in some of these cherry tomatoes and then some breadcrumbs. And that's it.
is just so fresh and light. It's got that flavor of basil, which is just like summertime. It's cheesy. It's got nice crunch with all these little vegetables and stuff that add flavor and make it a little bit more than just, you know, pasta with a sauce. It's a perfect thing to make for a 4th of July barbecue. You don't need to add those fixins. That pesto is just a basic pesto that you could use for any type of use. It's a good sauce to know. It's one of the basic ones. Now you know it. I might be taking next week off and or doing one video. I have been asked to do another event at 368 on Tuesday, so I haven't decided what next week's going to look like. So it's up in the air. Just know that uh, I have something going on. I'll probably film it, I'll probably make a video about it, but I really just need to like figure that out. It should be an easy thing, but that's just the story with that. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. That's all I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself. Thank you.